Welcome my Leos, welcome back, welcome back. This is the Empress, I'm coming with another video for you guys. This is going to be titled Case of the X, okay? So we're focusing on how your ex feels about you or views you, okay? So let's hop right into it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into some things. You guys go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and hit the like button because Leos, you guys reading, um, the past, I think it was last week I did you guys this reading. It was, it got a little wow. If you haven't checked out that video, go back and view the video that I just posted for the month of April. It was pretty, you know, <laughs> it, we got into some things, okay? So I'm very interested to see what is in store for Leo's, okay? So without further ado, guys, keep in mind, guys, I am still currently running my special guys for the entire month of april if you would like to book your very own personal reading that information is going to be in the drop box below all right so you can contact me via email we can get you set up and book you for your very own personal reading um the price is going to be 44 dollars and 44 cents okay originally priced at 67 dollars okay so i'm dropping my prices as low as 44 dollars and 44 cents to help as many people as i can during the month of april all right, so if you want to book, contact information is below. All right, if you want to donate, that information is below as well. It's greatly appreciated. It does help the channel. All right, so these energies can be vice versa. It could be your energy or a partner's, okay? But we're just specifically focused on the partner's energy and how they view you, okay? So let's get into some things, okay? Let's get into some things here. What messages do you have for Leo? How does Leo's ex view Leo? How does Leo's ex view my Leo's? I hope we get a, a good read this time, guys, because last read, it was, it was real dramatic, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got trust that jumped out. We got passion. And we got something else. Oh, we got something else up under here, too, codependent. Ooh, somebody has a codependent relationship. Okay, so we got past life relationships. So they're looking over the past, okay? They're looking over the past. Someone here could have been married here. We got wedding here. This could have been a separation. Maybe someone that you're married to um, or someone is married. Okay, we got unrequited love. Okay, so there's an imbalance, okay? And there's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep it going. All right, so let's look at this. Let's 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 dig into this. We have trust. And I think I'm going to take uh, codependency and passion here because they came out together. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. The codependency card is the devil card in this deck, and we have passion. Okay, but they came out together. So someone has a is addicted to sex here someone is addicted to the feeling of something okay let's see i want to get some clarifiers this this is this already popped off it's already popped off you done already got lit y'all hit the like button hit the like button hit the like button all right share this video with your family and your friends you never know who might need this message okay because i really feel like we're about to get down to some things we're about to get into some things all right, so there looks like there's an issue with trust, okay? So let's see what's what. Okay, look at you guys coming out strong. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, okay? So, okay, someone is, someone keeps asking some okay so they feel like you kept asking them questions like you don't trust them okay and it was definitely getting on their nerves nine of swords and the eight of wands so there's a trust issue here okay maybe you guys kept questioning them kept asking what are you doing where you going what you, where you been what you got going on okay um why is the four of pentacles here 
Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, and the Star card, Aquarius is energy. I feel like maybe you were hoping that they were going to change, um, change their perspective or how they view something, how they view relationships. But I feel like someone just got offended. Like this person, somebody guard is 100% up. Either they're blocking you out or you are blocking them out. Like I'm getting a barrier. We got the nine of wands, the strength card, and the seven of wands. Okay. So I'm getting like there's a, a barrier. Okay. You feel guarded. And I feel like you don't trust this person. You don't trust their views. You don't trust. You just, I just feel like you don't trust them. I'm just getting like you don't trust them. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. Because they're juggling. They're juggling. Look at the look at this. See ya. Yeah. Look at this. You got a player on your hand. They just want to have fun. Somebody just want friends with benefits. Somebody just want to play around. Okay. Look. The Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. Could be an Aries, okay? Or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But somebody is a player. Okay, you're definitely dealing with a player, player here. Okay, they want to have their ego driven. They got a really huge, humongous ego. Okay, <laughs> could have a huge, humongous something else too. You know, but this person is definitely was playing around with you. Okay, this is was supposed to be something fun. Um, I'm not sure if things got carried away, but there's de they were definitely juggling two or more people. Okay. <laughs> definitely juggling definitely so i could see why there is a trust issue codependency why is codependency here queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn you guys could be dealing with the virgo taurus capricorn um somebody is codependent upon someone financially um I'm not sure if you've been helping this person financially, um, but someone here is codependent, was very reliant on that assistance, okay? That pentacle. And I feel like, let me see, why is Queen of Pentacles here? They view you as very um, independent, very, you know, you may keep your coins and your ducks in a row, all right? Someone's worried about something that someone is going to say. Worried about somebody finding out something. Somebody's worried about somebody finding out something. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The moon. Somebody doesn't want to want to be a secret anymore. Two of Swords. The moon card. Why is the moon here? The Fool. But something is too risky. They feel like this would be too big of a risk. And they also feel as if someone, they could feel as if you put in a lot of effort. Like you go, you went hard because I'm seeing someone tried extremely hard. Um, someone was trying too hard. Okay. I feel like this person could have been codependent upon you financially. Okay. But I'm getting that some type of secret came out. What is the full card here? About a third party with the three of swords. Okay. Someone here is trying to protect their heart too. Your ex could have been trying to, you know, not show too a lot of emotions. They're guarding their heart. Their heart is guarded. Why is the three of swords here? Okay, someone's afraid of getting hurt. Okay, someone is afraid of getting their heart broken. So they rather be the heartbreaker than them getting their heart broken. Okay, because I see something here about a union, a new start in a relationship. They're afraid of that. They're afraid of being vulnerable and connecting with one person here. Okay. 
You could most definitely be dealing with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah. They they don't want, they got a lot of options, okay? They got a lot of people that they're communicating with, talking to. Look at this. Um, They could have a nosy mom. Because see, look at what I'm getting here. She, the mom could be, um, you know, um, or there could be issues in regards to the family. Because I'm getting five of swords, ten of pentacles. The lovers. Somebody's looking for love. I'm getting like looking for love in all the wrong places. You could be dealing with a hermit. But somebody's worried about what their family thinks or what their family is going to say. Because somebody has a nosy mom or a nosy um, female uh, in their family. Like a sister, an aunt, a mom. But someone's um, someone that they possibly look up to, then it could be the family, someone in their family, okay? Ten of Pentacles. But it's in the reverse, okay? So we got the mother or grandmother or something like that, okay? And I'm getting someone spying, okay? And someone's worried about what, what someone thinks or what someone is going to say, but there's like this jealousy. We got the lovers and the five of swords. Somebody loves drama. Somebody loves drama. Okay, I'm getting here. Somebody always, this person, they feel like you could always be looking for drama. Okay, or attention. But this person here is afraid to settle down. I can tell you that right now. They want their cake and they, they eat it too. Okay, they like to have a multitude of options. Okay, they are afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of settling down. Okay, so let's see why we have passion here. We see what passion is. <laughs> you see what passion is. All right, so why is passion here for Leo? We got the three of cups, okay? So there is, they're possibly thinking about having a rendezvous with you, coming together with you, um, or you to them. Okay, someone's offering, the offer is on the table. Maybe there's a party, a get together, or something where you two reconnect. Okay, why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, Two of Pentacles and a Three of Cups. Hmm, this, this is, looks kind of strange. Okay, why is the Two of Pentacles here? I'm getting like a social gathering, like it's, what, it's a lot of people around. Three of Pentacles again. And the Ten of Cups. I'm getting like there's a social gathering. Um, like you guys see each other at a party or see each other at a get together or something. Um, but they feel like you're looking good. Okay. Like you look good. Like you got yourself together. Okay. And you look happy. Okay. And they may want to have, you know, you may get, they, they, they loins jumping. <laughs> Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Emperor, Father card. Okay, someone's father, I'm getting very much so a father. Okay, um, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But someone here is like at someone's house, Okay. Maybe there's a house party of some sort, something to that nature. Why is the emperor here? Something about someone leaving, okay? Someone leaving here. Leaving broke? <laughs> what is this? Someone's leaving something broke. I'm getting like there's a party or some sort. Maybe you see this, maybe you see this person at a party. Why is the 10 the reverse? Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be a marriage here, okay? With the Hierophant card and the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Libra and Capricorn. I'm getting that there could possibly be a marriage here. Because, look, we got the Four of Wands. That's the marriage card. The Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card is someone possibly legally being married, okay? Someone's walking out, okay? Someone left or is getting ready to leave, 
Um, and let me see why the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles here. This person has been dragging their feet. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The moon. Page of Cups. There's lots of flirting going on. Like, there's some flirting, like, on the low, like, secret, secret stuff. But I'm getting, like, there could be, like, a get-together, a party, or there's just juggling a few people here. Somebody's juggling. Like, this person has a multitude of options here. And this keeps coming up. Do they want you to know that they have other options? Have y'all discussed this? Because that's all that's coming out here is, like, this person that has options, Okay. Someone's being, you know, um, the bigger person and walking away. Okay, and I'm also getting like there's just like a, some type of secret here. There's something that's hidden. Something that this person is hiding from you. So maybe you didn't know. Some of you may have not known that this person has been juggling. But this person here in this particular read has been juggling. Okay, they've been juggling or vice versa. They feel like you are, okay? It could be vice versa, but I'm getting like a lot of their energy, okay? And this is what they want to say to you or how they view you, okay? So let's get a past, present, and future energy here. How does Leo's ex feel about Leo? We got hand of cards. Some of you guys are really dealing with the Capricorn. We got addiction here. Codependent. And that came out twice. Obsession. Your ex feels like you may you're very codependent upon them. Like even possibly controlling, obsessed, possessed. Um, and it is it's like something here was a risk. Okay, they feel like they gambled and they can't show you their next move. Okay, they, they, don't, they don't feel like they can show you their next move. Okay, well, presently, show me present energy. Not today. We got not today. Not dealing, avoiding. They're avoiding you. Okay, they're avoiding talking to you. Um, they're trying to allow you time to heal. They're trying to give you time to heal. And I'm also getting that someone is extremely self-absorbed they could feel like you're self-absorbed we got the golden mirror they could feel like you're self-absorbed okay and things were one-sided they do still watch you okay we got sunglasses they do still watch you they're keeping that eye on you okay give me future energy here we go again we got addiction okay they feel like you're obsessed with them. Like, they, they feel like you are obsessed, okay? And look, Six of Swords, they could be moving on, okay? They could be moving on. Um, I'm getting a lot, of, and I'm going to be honest, I'm getting that there is a soulmate connection that they could possibly have. Um, we got wedding, wedding rings, and we have soulmates, so... For some, for what I'm getting, what I'm getting is some for a handful of you. Someone here is married and separated, or someone is living, have a living arrangement with someone and is dibbling with someone on the side. Okay, but I'm getting that they feel as if you are addicted to them. Okay, they feel like you're obsessed with them, like you're crazy about them. Why is hand of cards here? Self-indulgence again. Okay. Yeah, somebody, something set. Okay, we got girl with the snake. Okay, let me be clear with this, okay? Girl with the snake. All right? This is a person that is very, very sweet. 
and easily manipulated, okay? She's easily charmed. She's always like the victim. And she is, she doesn't have any boundaries, okay? Um, she's just a target. She's a target because she's so sweet and loving and caring. And you had someone come and take advantage of that, okay? Um, I do feel like they look at, they view you as like, you know, you may take really good care of yourself. You keep yourself up. You may keep your makeup up. You may, you know, um, have nice things because Leos are known for, you know, nice things. But I do feel like they, they saw that as an opportunity. Okay. They saw that as an opportunity. Why is not today here? We got love. We got love. I feel like currently right now, they're not. They're avoiding. They're avoiding this um, attraction or they're avoiding this connection with you. Okay. They're closed off. We got the Phoenix. Um, and I feel like there's someone, I feel like someone feels as if they're not enough. Okay. Someone feels as if they're not enough. I feel like someone stopped flirting. They may have stopped flirting with you and that could have made you feel like you weren't enough. Okay. Could have made you feel like a lack of confidence or you've been self-sabotaging. Okay, maybe there's fear or ego issues or jealousy. Okay, but I feel like this person is very like closed off. Okay, this person is ready for a new phase. Why is love here? Why is love here? Why is love here? Thank you. We got Cupid's arrow. Somebody was deeply in love, okay? Somebody is deeply in love, but we got not today. So they're avoiding this connection. They're avoiding this. Like, they are avoiding this. Look at them. They're the runner. They're avoiding this connection. Like, they're running from it, okay? Um... There's some truth that needs to be revealed, some clarity that needs to be revealed, that this person has stabbed you in the back. I feel like you've realized that this person has stabbed you in the back. All right, so let's go to addiction here. Why is addiction here for future energy? Ooh, ooh. There we go with wedding rings again, and we got clock, and we got soulmates again, okay? I feel like they have some type of contract. There was some type of agreement possibly between you two. Maybe you there should have been an agreement or there there was some type of agreement, okay? Um, but there's some type of contract here, okay? Soul contract, soul connection that they could possibly have. Um, like I'm, I keep getting that someone could be married or they've been with someone else for a long time. They're still connected to that person, okay? And I feel like the clock... Time has ran out or time is ticking. Okay. Like something is ticking here. Why is clock here? It's like they have to make a move now. And then we got the chaser. They feel like you chased. Look, let me tell you something. The chaser is in the codependent relationship, a fear of abandonment, okay? So they could be feeling like you are really connected to them, like you, it's like they they really feel like you're obsessed and that you're chasing them, okay? If Let me explain something, Leos. If someone has you chasing them, first of all, you don't chase, okay? 
y'all are too deep with this person and this person is such a runner like they're running away from this connection that they have for you i don't know i'm not sure maybe they feel like it's too deep or you're trying to get too deep or something in that nature but they're running away from it and it's like the energy is you're moving more towards it as they're running away from it why is addiction here give me another card why is addiction here I know I just saw a card flip over. Dang it. Why is addiction? There we go. Photograph. Looking at your pictures and missing you. Nostalgia. They feel like you are. St I'm getting like. Look, and then we got the runner. They're avoiding this. Like they're running. Okay. They feel like you're watching them. You're watching what they post. You're watching what, what their videos, their pictures. Like you're obsessed. And that's that's how they feel. I'm just telling y'all. Like this is how they feel. Let's ask the pendulum because I want to see. Does Leo's ex feel like they're this Leo's ex feels like Leo is a stalker. It's stalking them. This Leo's ex feels like Leo is obsessed with them. So, clearly there's a difference, okay? They don't feel like you're stalking them. They feel like you're just overly invested. Let's just say that. Because I'm getting that there's a player and, and they're running all over the place. And then I'm getting that there's this person that's so into it. And it's like, I want you guys to... To be aware of the signs, okay? What did I just do? Oh, I thought I mixed the card. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see what advice we have for Leos. What advice is there for my Leos, please? We got unlikely. Okay. We got unlikely. Not the right time. And we got romance. Okay. I need you to understand this, Leos. There's something better out there for you. Okay. It is definitely time for you to choose a new direction. Okay. And I wasn't going to say anything. I was waiting for this, for this moment to come out because... As I'm reading the cards, I'm like, I know Leos aren't doing this. But that's what it says. <laughs> I mean, I'm just reading what it says, okay? But there's definitely something better out there for you. And there's a need for you to choose a new direction. Give this situation some time, um, to, you know, for you to heal and bounce back but you know the situation over time is going to get a lot easier for you to handle and deal with but i feel like this is maybe like a new for some of you guys this may be like a new breakup like it just currently happened why do we have unlikely here they're unlikely to, to be giving you any attention okay you're unlikely to win let me tell you something six of wands is winning okay being the last one standing, you're getting, you know, getting all of the recognition being put on a pedestal. We got the Ten of Swords. This is saying stop competing. If you're in competition with the next chick or the next man, stop it, okay? Because it's unlikely that this person is going to choose, okay? They're just not. 
It's not the right time for them. It's not the right time for you. Why is not the right time here? I feel like you want this so bad, okay? I feel like you want this. This is a wish fulfillment for you, and this is something that you want so bad, okay? Let's see why the nine of cups is here. Yeah, see, look, the strength card wanted to jump out. This is a wish fulfillment for you. You want this person to be straight up. You want this person to be honest with you and, and choose you, okay? Because we got the empress here. You want them to choose you, okay? But it is unlikely that this person will. Okay, don't come in my comment section if this message or anything that I said does not pertain to you. Okay, don't get in the comment section and do that. If nothing that I say complies with you, then click off and go to another reading. But someone, someone definitely needs to hear this message. Okay, now we got romance. Let's see why is romance here. We got the world card. Okay, you're you're feeling trapped in a situation that you can get out of. Okay. There, you're, you're, you aren't bound or tied. Okay, I'm, I'm getting like you feel trapped. I'm not understanding why you feel trapped. For some of you, this could be a baby mother, baby father thing because I did see the mother father card. But there's definitely ways around dealing with that. Okay, the world card here. Why is the world card here? Seven of Swords. Close the chapter on this lying, cheating bastard. Okay. Close this chapter. This person is sneaky, lying, malicious, okay? Why is this something so interesting? They're a cheater. They wear a false mask. Your intuition is telling you to cut them off. You know you need to cut them off. Because they're a liar and a cheater. Like, you know that already. High Priestess, you know this already, okay? Don't ask them not another damn question. Just leave. You got the Empress again. You know your worth. You know you better than this, okay? You know for a fact that you're better than that. Stop asking these Stop, don't ask them another question. Just leave. All right, so we got, there's something better. There's something better. Yep, see, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, baby. Look look towards the future, right? Look towards the future, okay? Because there's definitely something better out there for you. Ace of Pentacles, baby. It don't get no better than that. Choose a new direction. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. Choose a new direction. Look at your options, okay? Look at your options. Two of Pentacles. And stay busy. So when this person comes back around and they're trying to, you know, do what makes you happy, Leos. And I'm getting, if you got to juggle two men, then do that. <laughs> Hell, Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of insurance. I ain't saying go be a cheater, but I'm just saying, like, you could date, okay? You could date other people and don't have and don't be exclusive until that person, you know for a fact that that person is going to take you serious, okay? All right, y'all. I got to get off of here. If y'all want to book your own personal reading, if y'all want to get down to the nitty-gritty of your situation in particular... Okay, if this message did resonate with you or if it didn't, and then you just need some additional guidance or anything in that nature, anything that you need confirmation on, contact me via email. I am currently running specials and I am open. I do have open availability for um, you to book a reading. Okay. All right, my loves. Until next time. I love y'all. Ciao.